morning guys welcome back to another video today Romy and I are going to show you how to make a low fat high protein peanut butter this is the kind of peanut butter you could actually eat an entire jar of and still get lean so I've been really craving peanut butter recently and so I really wanted to have a lot of peanut butter on hand uh, to smother on rice cakes to put on my porridge just to eat with a spoon to be honest and this is the perfect stuff low calorie density high protein high fiber it's going to keep you full and satisfied so let's do it baby okay so we've got all of our ingredients out already and i've got a semi clean blender so that is a good start okay so you guys know I like to sweeten, oh my gosh, Romy has murdered this banana. I like to sweeten everything with a rather tortured banana. So this is obviously a really nice spotty one. This is gonna provide loads and loads of sweetness. Please make sure that you uh, use a nice spotty ripe banana. You want to eat it. <laughs> no food is safe in my house. We may just have a partial bit of a banana. Okay, please don't do that at home, people. <laughs> so to fluff out and to bulk out our peanut butter, you guys know that I'm going to be using chickpeas. So um, obviously beans are absolutely incredible for weight loss. I try and include them in most meals. They keep me so full and satisfied. Here we go with one cup of chickpeas. I cook my chickpeas myself. However, you can just use um, a tin of chickpeas. Make sure you rinse and drain those babies nicely. Okay, no recipe is complete without some vanilla. So I just use about a teaspoon of vanilla. And now obviously to give it that lovely peanut buttery flavor, we're gonna go in with some PB2, PB Fit this one is, but you could really use any peanut butter powder that you like. I tried to hunt down a no sugar, no salt peanut butter, but I couldn't seem to find any. Um, near me. However, I'm going to have a look for that later. So feel free to use whatever kind of PB2 that you like to use. This one does have a bit of salt and a bit of sugar in it, um, but that's okay for the purpose of this recipe because I'm not adding any other sweetness in to here. So obviously because this is meant to be a peanut butter, we are going to be adding rather a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to go in. So this is a half tablespoon, but I'm going to go in with four tablespoons. Obviously we need to give a little bit of liquid to this blender. Otherwise we're going to truly kill it. So we're gonna go in with four tablespoons of soya milk as well. One, two. Okay, so that's basically it. I know it seems like a really strange concoction of ingredients, but I promise you it is going to be a thick and delicious peanut butter in a second. So let's blend this baby until it's really nice and smooth. Okie dokie, here we go. Oh, oh. Yes, that is absolutely amazing. It's got so much sweetness from the banana. The peanut butter flavor is right on point. And uh, yeah, it's really thick and creamy, great for spreading on everything. It's like an incredible pourable peanut butter. You could obviously just use PB2 if you wanted to, of course. However, you guys know I like to make things as whole food as possible. And also, I want to have a lot of volume when I want peanut butter. I don't just want like a tiny little tablespoon sometimes. Sometimes I want to like mound it on top of a rice cake and go to town. Um, and that's where this peanut butter comes in because you really can do that. Mm. Okay, yum. So feel free to make a massive batch of this and then keep it in the fridge. It'll probably last for a good four or five days. Great for a bit of meal prep. It is Romy approved. So you guys know there was a viral TikTok rice cake covered in peanut butter and chocolate trend that was going around like maybe a couple of months ago. Um, and so that is the other thing that I'm going to do with this peanut butter right now. And I'm going to show you my version of a healthy chocolate as well that I kind of pour on top of it. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, so grab yourself some rice cakes. I've just got some lightly salted whole grain low fat rice cakes right here. This would be such an incredible snack. I'm actually having this as my lunch, which sounds really crazy. However, there are no food rules. And actually, when you're thinking about indulging in something really sweet and tasty, you don't have to just have it 
after a meal, it can be part of your meal. You can build it into your meal. So if I was to have a massive plate of lunch and then four rice cakes with all of this peanut butter on the top and like maybe some fruit on the side and stuff, that's gonna end up being quite a large snack on top of all the meals I'm already having. However, if I'm fancying something like this, I incorporate it into my meals to keep the calorie density of my low perfect, right where it needs to be. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got four rice cakes here. I'm firstly going to smother them in this incredible peanut butter. Look how smooth and creamy that stuff is. Oh my gosh. I apologize that Romy is in this super, super adorable and chatty mood at the moment. Do you like peanut butter, Romy? In fact, Romy was the person who inspired this recipe because she came back from nursery saying, but, 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 which is her word for peanut butter. And so I was like, you want peanut butter? And that made me really want some peanut butter. Hence, I'm making this recipe. So you can all thank Romy for this one. But, but. but, but. Okay, so there we go, nice and smothered in the peanut butter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rest of the peanut butter aside and quickly clean my blender. So I'm sorry if you do not enjoy a banana, but banana is my favorite form of whole food plant-based sweetness, which is super low calorie density and just darn delicious. So for our chocolate sauce, I'm adding in one super delicious ripe banana and some cocoa powder. It's really that simple. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Probably a couple of tablespoons of cocoa powder, one banana. Let's give it a little blend but the perfect, perfect chocolate sauce. Okay, so for this recipe, what we're gonna do is we are going to smother this uh, pourable chocolatey goodness on top of our peanut butter, like so. This is a fantastic chocolate sauce that I would also use for pancakes or just kind of, kind of like a fruit dipping chocolate sauce situation for me, for the kids, for anyone, it's really great. Okay, there we go, so let me know if you have tried uh, this viral rice cake situation. But basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna freeze it and then it's gonna almost be like a special frozen treat where you kind of and it's gonna meant to be darn delicious. So let's whack it in the freezer and I'll show you what that looks like in a little second. Okay, it is the magic of film and it's a few hours later and these babies are completely frozen. So let's get into this, shall we? Oh yeah. Look at that. The best part, taste test time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's like an ice cream, a peanut butter chocolate ice cream with a crunchy rice cake base. You can have a taste, come here. Mmm, the taste test wouldn't be complete unless my baby's got involved. Right, there you go, Ron. Ron, you have a try of that. Mm. Right, hey, and I want to know your thoughts. What do you think? Good? This is a fantastic little snack. Mm. Love it. Love it. Oh. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can now make yourself a mountain of peanut butter that you can eat with a spoon and some fun little frozen crispy chocolatey treats.